Hey guys, Oscar here, truckersauthority.com. So today uh, we are gonna go over data, data Q's website. And this has to do with your DOT inspections, any type of violations that you receive from DOT. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how you can go ahead and uh, appeal those violations if you believe it's incorrect and where you can also upload the, the evidence that you have uh, to appeal that violation. Uh, that being said, before we get started, I'm also gonna show you in case um, if you've had your uh, your DOT suspended if it's been revoked. I'm also going to show you your local field offices where if anything like that were to happen, you want to know, okay, where do I start so I can start fixing these issues? You're going to call your local field office. Every state has a local field office and you're going to actually call them and say, hey, look, my US DOT got uh, suspended. They're going to ask you for the DOT number and be like, okay, look, this is what happened. This is what you can do to fix it. Okay, so if anything like that happens to you, that's gonna be your step number one. And I'm gonna show you here where you can go is, is uh, get with your local um, USDOT field office and they can go ahead and guide you from there, okay? Uh, the other thing, just because uh, some people don't know in the beginning, is that if you do have a lot of, if you, excuse me, if you get out of service, any out of service um, violations uh, and so forth, the only way to combat that rate, that out of service rate, um, is to get more inspections and pass them. That's pretty much it. So if you have, and, and just so you know, you're out of service, your DOT um, violations, shippers and insurance companies look at that to do business with you. So if you keep getting violations and you keep getting out of service, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna see that's gonna be hard to get more loads and or your insurance prices are gonna be very high. If you do have uh, violations, one of the most common things is that your insurance rate's probably gonna go up. So uh, if this is you, uh, give our friends at Gold River Insurance a call. Uh, they do have several markets that can help you out. Uh, if you just need insurance in general, trucking insurance, uh, they handle all business insurance, but primarily uh, trucking insurance, very knowledgeable people. So if you're looking help with your trucking insurance, give our friends at goldriverinsurance.com a call. And I'll go ahead and have the link in the description. If you do need help setting up your authority, or perhaps you know someone who needs help setting up their authority, send them over to truckersauthority.com for a free consultation. We'll go over all their permits and what they need, okay? So truckersauthority.com if you need help with setting up your authority. Let's get back to the video. So it's important that you keep those violations low, you stay up to date with your driver file, you stay up to date with your vehicle maintenance, you make sure you have your, your ELD and everyone's on and off when they're supposed to. These are the biggest violations that I see is this, they, exactly what I just said. And again, if you need to combat those violations, and let me show you guys what I mean by the ratio, okay? Just real quick. So real quick, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pull up my DOT uh, via the company snapshot link. I'm gonna scroll down here and here is the ratio that I'm talking about in regards to out of service, um, how many times you go out of service, and then your percentage. Right? This is the national average. All right? so, so on average, you'll have that the national go out of service 21%. Here's the driver inspection and hazmat expect, expect inspection. And this is for uh, inter, uh, intermodal equipment providers. If you have any crashes, then it'll be, it'll be down here, and you'll have out of... Whoop, where am I? Sorry. If you have any crashes, it'll be here. Fatal, injury, if there was any tow involved. Okay? So every time you get an inspection, it goes here. Inspection number one. If you get an out of service on the first inspection, it'll be 100% out of service. The only way to bring that out of service rate down, that the service percentage down, is to go and actually get another inspection and pass it. And there's different levels of inspection you can get from DOT and you can pull up and request for an inspection. So again, the only way to combat that is by getting more inspections, passing the inspections, and your out of service rate will drop down. This will provide better loads for you and better insurance rate. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on actually how uh, to log in and send that request and then we'll take a look at the field office uh, information, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and type in data Q FMCSA. And it's gonna be this one right here, okay, on the very top. And they change their website, immediately it goes into this uh, create an account and log in. If you already have a um, the FMCSA, if you already registered for the FMCSA portal login, which you would have if you already did the clearinghouse, which you would have if you did the DOT, 
um, and MC at the same time at the, with the application. So you already have this information. You would you actually need to log into the web portal first before you can log before you can get data's queues information going to your portal. So let me show you. So I'm gonna go to Google and just put in FMCSA portal login. It'll be this top one right here. Again, uh, so you're gonna need your user ID that you created and the password for your portal. If you forgot your password, you can use this. Forgot your user ID, you need to use this. If you need to unlock your account, you're gonna go here. If you've never done it, you're gonna register here. And again, if you already did the clearinghouse, you already did the, um, if you did a USDOT and MC application together in the beginning, then you already have this information, okay? So you might need to use one of these or this option. All right, so let's go ahead and log in. Hit log in. It's gonna take a little bit to load up. Okay, once logged in, this is how it's gonna look. Go to account management on the top left and go to my profile. Uh, this is just saying something with the website, FC, that's fine, the loading error, that's okay. Um, I'm going here to, you're gonna to go to portals and roles. You're gonna select your USDOT number. And you see right here, data queue secure access. You're gonna assign this role over here. And if this is all you, just assign all the roles over to you so you don't have to come in here and assign them over and over again. Seeking data queue access. So that's the reason for request. And let's hit update profile. It takes a bit, just give it some time, submitting data. Okay, submit succeeded, so we are done. We can go ahead and, and now get that information from data queue. Okay, so now that we added data queue, so I'm gonna go back, back to the home screen. And now I have this information right here on the left-hand side, data queue. It says available FMCSA system. If you do not have it, and you did the steps that I just showed, go ahead and log out and log back in, and you should see it. It takes a couple of minutes, even though you added it to your profile, okay? So we'll go ahead and select the link and hit go. And we're inside the portal now. So with data queue, it's all about um, finding uh, violations. That's the only reason you're in data queue is because you believe you got fined for something, uh, you think it's a correct, you have the evidence to back it up, and you want to go ahead and send that over to data queue. And data queue will go ahead and gather this information and uh, look at the evidence and, you know, basically uh, decide whether that violation is going to stick or you're going to be able to remove it or even lower it. Okay. Um, very simple to submit the request. I would definitely um, uh, download the guide, but it's very simple. Just hit start a new request and then um, request a data review. What type? Like what was the type of violation that you got? Was it an inspection, uh, registration, household goods, drug and alcohol? It's any violation. So we'll go ahead and hit um, uh, crash and basically an inspection is what we're going to fight. And it says, okay, this is the type of things you can you can go ahead and fight via this um, this selection here. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, come, we're gonna say, hey, you know, there was an inspection that, that an inspection that was done wrong. Um, then it's gonna basically you need to just get the violation information where it happened. Um, we can go ahead and, and pull. You're gonna go on ahead and pull up, put in the report number, which you should have. If not, you can go ahead and pull that up in here in this system. Whoops. Show you. Actually, I don't have any, but you can look this up on the SMS with the company snapshot to look up the and, um, the crash report number or inspection number. Nonetheless, you actually have the physical report, so just enter the information in there. Uh, when it happened, the vehicles uh, where the vehicles re registered and the license plate number. So in my case, I made this information up. You would actually search for the report, it would pull up, and then you'd select it so you can go ahead and fight it. In this case, just so I can get through, I'm gonna hit, I do, I'm gonna select, I do not see my report on this list. And it's gonna say, what type of incident is, is it? And it's an inspection report, so we'll hit next. And then again, choose the reason for your request, which, why is it that, um, uh, that we're submitting this? What are we fighting? So the options are, 
Did not receive a copy or the or lost the inspection. Citation associated with violations on an inspection. Violations incorrect, listed mul multiple times, or missing intermodal equipment um, uh, provider shipper information. Uh, company or USDOT number is not listed, um, inc is listed incorrectly on the inspection report. Driver name or license number is listed incorrectly. Uh, ins inspected Inspection missing from my report duplicate and then inspection report contains incorrect information uh, so we'll do this one so this is basically most of the things that happen and they have it laid out for you guys just so that they this is basically them just being organized on their end uh, and i'm not going to submit it through because i don't have anything but we're going to hit next and then it's going to ask you for uh more of the report information and then your business information as well um explanation um a request for data review and then your your comments here, um, why why you believe this needs to be um, that you're fighting this ticket, and you're going to put all your information there, um, and then you're going to upload any evidence that you have. Okay. Once you upload all the evidence that you have, you hit file, hit next, and at the end it'll say um, make sure that everything is correct, submit it through, and you're going to wait on them. You can follow up. I meant they're going to review it and they're going to get in contact with you. You're going to receive an email uh, of this information. Uh, however, you can follow up with them. OK, and I'm going to show you guys how to locate your 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 local field office in just a second. But this is pretty much it. So if you're trying to fight a ticket, um, this is where you do it inside of data queue system. You're going to input your information here as to why you're going to upload your evidence and you're going to submit it through. So I'm heading back over to Google. And I'm going to go over it. So I'm going to show you guys um, if you guys need to speak to somebody, which I would speak to someone first on the process rather than just going and submit the, the, the ticket because they can give you a little bit or excuse me, the rather than um, appealing the violation, uh, they could give you some information and it's really good to speak to them. OK, so this is going to be your local USDOT field office. All right. So let's go. You're going to go into FMCSA, go to the bottom and go to contact us. You see here, field office and service centers. This is where you want to go. And so these are actually actual locations like field offices. These are the service, excuse me, these are the service centers. And then these are, this is the field office that you would be calling to speak to them over the phone saying, hey, look, this happened. What do I do next? So whichever is your state, all right? So let's go to California. You're gonna, so let's say you got your DOT suspended um, because of new entrant audit. You're gonna call them up and ask them, hey, this is what happened. What are my next steps? And they're very helpful, you guys. They'll go ahead and tell you, sure, A, B, and C, that's how you do it. Get back to us when you have that, okay? Whatever it is, whatever the violations are, start here before going directly into data queue and tell them the situation. And then they'll advise you, like, yes, submit it to data queue or no, you know, these are the rules and, and, and so forth. So again, this is um, uh, for data queues, uh, for your local USDOT office, if you have any violation questions, if you have any, um, if you've been suspended, um, this is the people you want to speak to first, and then from there they can guide you. So you guys, that's Data Queue in a nutshell. I hope I hope this is going to help some of you guys out. Again, if you're using Data Queue, it's actually because something's up. You got a violation. Um, on your DOT and you're trying to take care of that, you don't believe it's correct and you want to challenge it. So that's Data Q. This was a short one. You guys have any questions for me, comment down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And thanks again for watching, guys. This is OscarTruckersAuthority.com.